Now that you guys see how I have the uh, can of corn taped to the back of the head and the shaft to use as a weighted warm-up stick, I'm going to go through my various exercises. I'm going to do them all left-handed and right-handed, okay? For the sake of this video, I'm just going to do five on each side. So I'm going to start lefty. I'm going to break down. Get the hands out in front. The grip you want to use is shoulder width. Okay, so your hands are parallel when you're playing defense, when your hands are out in front of you. All right? First one, call them windshield wipers. So, okay, it's just 180 degrees from 3 o'clock to 9 o'clock. Right? 3 o'clock to 9 o'clock. Over and back. Right? Over and back. Let's call that 3. Let's call that 4. Let's call that 5. Okay? Now switch. Yeah, break down, hands and shoulder width. Okay, over and back. One, two, right? You just want to go to nine o'clock, three o'clock, four, five, okay? Now we want to mimic, okay, go back to your original hand. Mimic the long throw. One, two, right? You want to push and pull, okay? Push and pull. Get that weight transfer from the back leg to the front. Right? Follow through. Look where you're throwing. Push and pull. Exaggerate the movement. Right? Push and pull. Get that hand back. Okay? You want to feel it in your core. Transfer the weight from the back to the front. 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 Push and pull, right? Push with the top, pull with the bottom. Push and pull. See that? Push, pull. Okay? When you feel comfortable, switch hands. Again, the grip, shoulder width. Okay? You can put a piece of tape on your shaft to remind you where that where that width should be. Okay? Push and pull. Follow through. Follow through. Alright? Weight transfer, right? In the back foot. To the front, from the back to the front, right? Back to the front. Push through. Push pull. Push pull, right? Push pull. When you feel comfortable, right? Really exaggerate. Get that elbow up high in the back. Push through. Elbow up high. Rotate the torso. Okay. Okay, now what we want to do, get back to the original, okay, you want to get in the V-hold, right, break down, V-hold, okay, where that lead elbow is forward, you got them in a V, V, right here, butt end is on the hip, forearm is forward, you have a V or an L-hold, okay, you want to come up, punch with the bottom hand, up at the top, down, up, down. It's 45 degrees of movement. Okay, up, down. Up, down. Okay, so it's a lift and a slap. Lift and a down. Lift and down. You don't want to hit the ground, right? You just want to come where it's parallel. No wasted movement. Straight up, straight down. Feel it in your abs, feel it in your shoulders. Okay? Now you can do 5, 10, 15. You want to do the same on each side. Right, you want to use the same form, right, until you feel comfortable with it. Right, you start here in the V-hold, push the butt end forward, slap down, up, down, up, down, okay? Now we want to switch hands, right? Butt end on the hip, V-hold, forearm forward, okay? Up, down, up, down, punch the bottom, pull down, lift, slap, lift, Lift, chop, lift, chop, lift, chop. Really start to feel it in your core, and your abs, in your rotator cuff, forearm. You're holding this stick tight, right? Right up to your shoulder. Bap, lift, bap, lift, bap. And when you come down on the bap, you're right back to that good V hold. Up, bap, V. Up, bap, V. Lift, bap, lift. Back to the V, right? Right to the V hold. Okay. All right. 
Now what we want to do, okay, is go with the two-hand wrap check. Two-hand wrap check, okay? One, two, okay? So feel the flow, right? Exaggerate the movement, okay? Push the top hand through, but you're always maintaining contact with the butt end. You want to progress to the wrap check, but right now, keep both hands on the stick, okay? Nice and easy. We're just going through the range of motion. Keep the stick parallel to the ground, all right? Bring it back, tuck the elbow in, extend forward, okay? Okay? Switch hands. Again, break down, all right? Two-hand wrap. Two-hand wrap. All right, think about the hand movement. Think about crossing those arms up on impact. Arms are crossed on impact. All right, you're staying in an athletic stance. Break down. All right? See that? Coming around. Coming around. See how I'm bringing my elbow back here and throwing it out? It's the wrap check. This is the progression to the wrap check, right? Okay, now from here, okay, let's go back to the original side. Now we're going to go with the one hand wrap check. It gets a little bit harder, right? Again, see that? You bring it here and extend. So start your elbow here and you punch out in front of you. And you bring it back. You throw it with the bottom hand. You fling it, fling the butt end. Let it come back to you. Clean the butt end, let it come back. Punch straight, you go right down the pipe, just like a punch, and you pronate. Okay, you don't wanna hold this too tight, okay? The trick is to let the stick do the work. Let it, let it roll through your hand, okay? I'll do these all on both sides, left-handed and right-handed. My strong hand is lefty most of the time, but also righty depending on the situation. Same thing. Yeah, you, you want to generate the movement with the bottom hand. Push it, and punch. So the top hand is just guiding it. Bottom hand is pushing it. Okay, you come from here. For the sake of the warm-up, it's an exaggerated movement. All right, you're over-exaggerating all the movement, going through a full plane. Working, working all the planes, full range of motion, best you can. Now in a game situation, when you throw the check, you actually want to shorten this check up, right? But for the sake of doing this exercise, long range of motion. See that? Okay. Okay. Now what you want to do is, we want to work on the behind the back form. Okay, so I'm a left. I'm going left-handed right now. I want to step with the opposite foot, All right? So I want to straddle, All right? And just warm up. See this? Shovel over your shoulder. Okay. You want to look out of the corner of your of your eye where you where you're going with this shot or a pass. And just rotate as you step. All right? So it's like you're shoveling snow over your shoulder. Okay. You can rock your foot back and forth, right? So on impact, as that foot strikes, you're coming over the shoulder, right? Keeping that top elbow high, feeling the stretch in, in the pec, the chest, right? So it starts here, finishes there. Starts here, finishes there. Here to there. Here to there. Here to there. Okay? Switch hands. Okay, now I'm stepping the opposite. It's gonna be my left because I'm right-handed right now. Okay, made a little contact with the, with the tree, that's fine. All right, I'll adjust my stance. Bam, all right, bam. Okay, again, transfer, back foot, front foot. Over the shoulder. See this elbow? See this elbow? I want this elbow high, I wanna keep this I'm going to keep this elbow high. Stretch that out. Stretch. Full range of motion. 
Right? You want to generate power, and you want to look out of the corner of your eye where this is going. gist of it? That's my righty. That's my righty with a step now. Right? Now I'm stepping. And a little step. 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 Now push out and pull. Pull with the top, push with the bottom. Every long stick needs to know how to go behind the back, either in a passing situation or a shooting situation. Increase your angle. Right? Step to protect your hands, increase your angle, take the goalie by surprise. All right? I actually have the strength shoes on right now. I like to do these drills with the strength shoes. And you guys know me, you guys know um, I got pretty good calf muscles. Every defenseman needs to have good calf and strong legs, strong arms. You just need to be a good athlete. So any opportunity you can to get a better rep, such as strength shoes, maybe ankle weights, weighted vests, wrist weights, anything like that, you could progress up to. Right? Okay. Another thing you want to be able to do, okay, is a backhand pass, right? Right? Backhand pass. You just backhand, you're keeping the sticks up. A quick backhand pass from your shoulder. Boom. Okay. Boom. Your feet are just planted. You're in a good breakdown position. There may be times where you don't have time to switch hands, and you just want to flip a backhand pass to somebody from a face dodge position, right? Okay. So an example of that is, let's say I'm righty, right, and you come with a face dodge, and all of a sudden someone gets open in time. You, you do a face dodge. Someone's open. Now you have the confidence to move that stick through the plane to complete that pass. Right? So again, it's right here to the shoulder. Same thing. Push pull. Right? You pull with the bottom. You push with the top. Push pull. Right? See this? Push pull. Push pull. Push pull. Right? Push pull. Push pull, push pull. All right. Now let's go back to the V hold. Right. All right. Now we're gonna now we're gonna speed up the movement. Do a little long range of motion. We want to do just a quick. All right. Use that weight, that weighted stick. Just short, choppy, up and down, up and down, up and down. Use both hands. Push pull, push pull. And opposite, opposite. Push pull. I want to stay in that V hold, right? That good strong V hold where I'm at right here. Where that front arm is at 90 degree. You got that good angle, all right? And you're just moving it up and down, quick, up and down. Lift, poke, lift, slap, lift, slap, lift, slap, lift, slap, lift, slap, lift, slap, lift, slap. Switch it up. Same thing. Lefty now. Lift, slap, lift, slap, lift, slap, up, down. Okay. Move those hands in opposition. I'm moving my feet at the same time, right? I'm just not standing here with planted feet, right? I'm just moving my feet, whatever, however I can, staying in a good stance. And I'm breaking a sweat. It is Florida, a nice night, but it's humid. I'm starting to, starting to work a lather here, right? Quick, quick, chop, chop lift, chop lift, chop lift, chop lift, chop lift, okay? Okay. That's it for now. I'm going to bring you more exercises. Okay, we're going to show you checks, practicing the checks on the trees, and on the goal. I have a lot more to come. Follow me on at Long Stick Training on Instagram, or Steve Ludwig Kisslinger on Facebook, or Checks by Kiss on Twitter. Thank you. Talk to you soon.